Hello everyone, this is Hank. Today I'm going to tell you about a, a little known feature uh, of the Canon cameras in general. Specifically today I'm using the EOS R6 Mark I to show you, but I think uh, they work across the board. So you can use a multiple exposure mode to reduce, significantly reduce the high noise due to high ISO setting. Okay, so today I'm going to use this figurine to show you the effect. So normally, um, when you take a picture with ISO something like 3200 or less, or even 6400 or less, um, it's no big deal. You can clean it up in post-processing fairly easily. Now, what if you have more than that, okay? So there's a, this is where this feature comes in. Okay, so first of all, let me kind of set up the scenario. So now if you, you're shooting in a challenging environment, even though luckily your image, uh, your subject is not moving. And it only works if your subject's not moving in this scenario. So uh, figurine's not moving. However, if I'm in a really dark, darkened area, I don't have enough light, okay, and and I don't have a tripod, or even when I have a tripod, for whatever reason, I can't really set the, the low speed, or whatever, okay, there are scenarios like that, that um, that you need to crank the, high, um, the ISO way up. So in this example, I'm going to just suppose that I had to take this thing at, say, 1400 or something, and also at a um, high aperture of let's like, say um, 11 or 13 or something like that okay obviously i am more than three f-stops too dark so i'm going to crank up the iso to compensate correct so as you can see that i end up with something crazy like 100,002 400 iso which is ridiculously high Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate, first I'm going to take a picture without any help from the multiple exposure. Let's just take a picture of this. Okay, and uh, quickly review it. As you, as expected, um, the image is very noisy. Okay. Now, I'm going to access the menu and you wanted to uh, go find the red menu as shown here go to shoot number five and um, on top it says multiple exposure and the default mode is disabled okay so you want to access into it it's still disabled press set again and choose either the first choice is function control or continuous shooting function control that like you uh, gives you the uh, the choice of like shooting single shot you know for your multiple exposure so so you can like take your time number one number two and you can move to a different location now in this example since we are shooting for the purpose of lowering the iso noise Okay, so you want to take it as fast as possible to prevent, you know, move, movement of the object accidentally and all the change in the ambient light. So, so you would want to do a continuous shooting in this case. Okay. Uh, and you have to choose average because average is the mode that the camera is going to take care of everything for you, including cleaning up the noise for you. So you do average. Number of exposure varies from 2 to 9. Okay, 9 being the, the highest. And uh, since we want to significantly reduce the noise, we're going to choose 9. You, know. you can play with it uh, maybe anywhere from 2 to 9. So uh, for this example, I'm going to choose 9. Okay, um, this one here kind of allows you to just just do one time uh, multiple exposure and then it goes back to normal shooting mode or just stay on this mode until you change it okay 
um, I'm going to do that and I'm not selecting an image ahead of time. Okay, that is another video which will explain the multiple exposure to you. I'm going to do one, but not now. Okay, so so we press the shutter button halfway, go back to this one, and as you can see that just below the uh, the M mode and above the uh, AF uh, face plus tracking there, it shows you the multiple image uh, symbol with a nine, signifying it's going to take nine shots. Okay, since we sh uh, we set up to continuous shooting, it would help if you change it to the dry mode. Okay, so you go in here and you change the dry mode to high speed continuous, so you don't have to spend too much time taking pictures of these. Okay, um, that's optional, but it helps. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to. Uh, just take the shots now, just keep holding it down. Nine shots, just like that. And we basically done. Okay, so now when I review and blow it up, as you can see, it's a fairly clean image for 100,000 and 400 ISO. Okay, now when you view the picture, the single picture at at a hundred thousand ISO is uh, god awful compared to this one. So here's proof that this multiple exposure mode really good in cleaning up high ISO images. Okay, with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Um, I would really appreciate a like from you, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.